If you like what you're hearing on the phillytech.org netcast network, please consider supporting the network with a small monthly donation via patreon.com slash phillytechorg. That's p-a-t-r-e-o-n dot com slash p-h-i-l-l-y-t-e-c-h-o-r-g. And thank you in advance. You're listening to The Interview Show with Seth Goldstein on the phillytech.org netcast network. Thank you to our sponsors, wistia.com, Zoho Mail, and getflywheel.com. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another edition of the interview show. I am here with Riley and Ian of Content Boxster. Before we get into the show, I'd like to thank our sponsors, A Weber Communications, Wistia.com, JetFlywheel.com, and Zoho Mail. So thank you guys for sponsoring the show. Still trying to figure out how to incorporate them into an interview show, so I just thank them at the beginning. So guys, what is Conster with a T? Yeah, well, the, the company name is actually just Boxster, but uh, yeah, our website is contentboxster.com uh, because we do focus on content. We see content marketing as being a next big wave as far as uh, growing traffic and acquiring customers online. Um, but really we offer a free, you know, a, a full suite of uh, systems for online marketing, basically marketing technology, marketing automation. Uh, and we've broken those down into four separate systems that we've developed here that are all integrated and allow us to help companies rise above the noise. That's awesome. So, so what kind of services do you provide? Like, you write content for companies? Is that what you do? Uh, we help them with content. Um, we don't do that much content in-house other than we do a limited amount of content in-house, uh, mostly focused on our own stuff. We connect people with content writers uh, and editors as needed. And really, like, we're more about providing the technology and the systems that help make that process efficient, having metrics for content and helping companies understand you know, who they should be having doing the content, what kind of content they should be doing. And so you're more like strategists. Uh, it's one way of looking at it, yeah. I mean, we want to, we don't want to get into the content creation business. That's not our, our core. Uh, all, right, so, so, all right, so, all right, so content, uh, so Boxster is more about the strategy behind content delivery and content building, right? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, and, well, and the, and the technology that just makes that happen. You know, it's, it's basically just we help optimize that process. A lot of companies, the main problem is they know they maybe they, know they should be doing content, but they don't know what kind of content they should be doing for who, you know, like what, what level of content, you know, should it be video, should it be text, you know, is it blogging or is it, you know, something else entirely different? Is it social media? Okay. Um, we help companies just understand that by, you know, analyzing their customer base, you know, by helping them develop customer personas and a content strategy as well as competitive analysis and research. Very so, cool. Yeah. So where, where, so where did you guys get, how did you guys get this thing started? Um, where did you guys go to school? Um, yeah, so my background is I went to Purdue. I have an engineering background. I have more of a technical background. Um, I've been doing web development for many years now here in Philly and also like consulting of uh, businesses of all sizes <clears throat> as well as kind of content marketing. So I bring a kind of a mixed skill set uh, to the table with the technical and uh, you know, writing being uh, some of my strength, strong points. And then Ian? Yeah, I went to uh, UARCs here in uh, Philly. Went Philly boy, there we go. Yep, not originally, originally from Baltimore, but I moved. Yeah, close enough, we won't hold that against you. 2003, um, I went to school for industrial design, so it's kind of funny that we're both in similar fields from the get-go, but um, my, my focus has switched uh, after working in industrial design field more to marketing, um, and then creative marketing at that. Okay. Uh, you know, and I, I actually, have run several other companies here in Philly, uh, done some other startup things. Um, and yeah, so Michael and I met, I guess it was a little over a year ago now, um, and just kind of got together about, you know, what could we do to to start to change the way that things worked on the web? <laughs> it was really just like the initial question. You know, it wasn't really so much that we were focused on content marketing from the get-go. It was just that we saw inherent problems that, um, you know, lots of companies faced. My former company used to do uh, UX, UI work uh, and develop websites for people. 
And what really would start to happen was, you know, you know, we'd make a beautiful website and something that worked really well for them, you know, high end design. Um, and then they weren't getting traffic. Um, and that I was hate really when that happens. I'm a web designer too. I hate when that happens. They're like, well, I have this gorgeous website, but how do I get it to run? You know, why aren't people coming? Why aren't people coming? Uh... That, yeah, that's that's just like you know the the biggest problem with the web is that you know you might put something there for people to come to, but then how people actually go to it. And then with the changes between you know uh, the way browsers are starting to work, and then just the amount of noise, you know, like our slogan says, rise above the noise. Like we just realized that it's just going to get more and more difficult. Um, to get people to find traction on the web, and then so we started to put together ideas around that uh, to form Boxster, um, and you know, and realizing through through initial trials that you know content was the way that it just needs to be. Very yeah, cool. content is being. I mean, really, nowadays content is the currency for marketing. I mean, everything is marketing uh, yeah. as far as growth. Marketing equals growth. Growth equals content. And it's just really helping companies to understand that because it's, it's essentially a universal problem we see with businesses. Um, and it's just whether they're, you know, Boxster focuses on, on, on more established businesses. Mm -hmm. we're, we're all B2B. Um, we, wanna, we do best with companies that kind of figured these things out, that know, you know that they can monetize web traffic. They have a correlation between revenue and web traffic and like lead generation uh, through online means. And we just help them improve that. And we look for ways to, you know, build a model around those factors and basically just offer a higher, higher ROI. And that's basically our value proposition. It's just that the stuff we do uh, gets a higher return than typical like advertising and yeah. pay-per-click, all these more traditional things that people are going to now as they see all these changes, disruptions with SEO and social media. I mean, Facebook keeps changing the game. Oh, you know, there's every day. And, uh, and Google, obviously, with their algorithm updates, has like, you know, it's a totally different uh, marketplace now for uh, search traffic than it was a year ago. And every month now it's changing. Um, so what is the pricing structure of, of Boxster? Like, like how do people come in and is there a trial? Is there a, is there, uh, how does it work? Yeah, our, our, main, our main strategy now is we looking, uh, you know, still in early stages here and having long-term relationships with our customers. Yeah, so exactly. we, we look, you know, for reoccurring uh, revenue models where uh, currently, you know, that starts in, you know, thousands a month uh, for what yeah, we're exactly. doing. Uh, very intensive. We are working on, though, we've developed four apps already um, that we use in that structure, and we're looking to do some new apps that will actually be more self-serve, where you can come at a lower price point, you know, maybe there'll be a free trial or something, uh, and it'll be less work involved. But right now, we're really focused on customer development, and so with our clients that we've built up now, we're working like very closely with them and offering you know essentially premium services. Okay, so you're more of an agency almost than a app or a software oh. like, or are you more of a SaaS? It's it's kind of a temporary stage we're going through at this point. Where, yes, it, it, we could be sort of considered, but really we'd rather be working with agencies rather than competing with them. We're not looking to be an agency that's oh, you're not more our, a supplemental agency like you're a, a subcontractor. Yeah. Like, you know, yeah, so like, like, I would come to you. Say, hey, my clients need help with content and getting the right idea, and then where well, I would manage the relationship, but I would work with you guys to help to supplement what I give. Yeah. So a lot of agencies tend to, you know, specialize in one particular area, like their, their design, their marketing, you know, web development, <clears throat> and there's often an issue yeah, where they're lacking in some area. And our mm -hmm. systems like basically break down these things and help them. Uh, understand their customer needs better and get better results for their customers. Yeah, that's that's kind of why we're boxer. We don't really fit in one box. Like we work between all of them because we uh, as a skill set between uh, Michael and I, and then also our team. You know, we're we're uh, able to you know not just work in one fashion. Like we understand you know marketing to writing to actually how to develop a website. You know, we've got multiple skill sets, and so we don't really just fit ourselves into one box, and that's why we like to work with other agencies and businesses even that have marketing or even digital strategy teams. All right, so here's a question also. So how many people are on staff with you guys? I mean, how big is your staff? So we have uh, eight people full-time right now. Wow, that's good. And you're based off Fishtown. Yeah. So for people who are watching this show that aren't aware of Philadelphia, Philadelphia is a well, a conglomeration of a bunch of different neighborhoods, and what, just north of Phil Center City, Philadelphia. I mean, as you can see in the background, you can see the Comcast Tower and Liberty yeah. Place and Billy Penn. They've got the, yeah. one of the best views, I think, of anyone I've interviewed on this show. Though small, albeit small, it's still there, so. Yeah, it's, uh, 
<laughs> Nico, you want to say hi? Yeah. Hey, when our, when our office dog, Nico's here. Nico, come here. Come here. You say hi? I don't know if you can see her. Aww. This is Nico. Hi. <laughs> so she's, she's the one that keeps everyone motivated, right? Yes, she's our, she's our ninth team member. <laughs> yeah, so I guess, yeah, if she's an extra, uh, uh, you know, she's uh, here all full time with us in the office. Cool. Welcome to welcome to the interview. How do you like working for them? No. Well, very cool, guys. Um, so, how can people find you online? What's the best way? Yeah, I mean, we're you know contentboxer.com and uh, same on Twitter at contentboxer. So yeah, follow us on Twitter or uh, check out the website and uh, feel free to reach out and let us know if there's anything we can do. Awesome guys. Well, yeah, thank you so much for being on the show. Yeah, yeah. Check out some of our articles. We're uh, we're big on education, and so we're constantly putting out content that, you know, uh, helps people understand these things, because we see these things changing very rapidly, and are just looking to help companies grow in any way we can. So it's contentboxer.com. Yep. And at contentboxer on Twitter. So I, we should expect to see content from you guys. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> One would right. hope, right? Awesome, guys. Thanks so much for being on the show. Take care. Sure. Yeah, thanks. Have a good one. All right. And cut.